Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you for joining me for updates. This is my craft room. I used to do these videos every weekend and then I sort of took a break at an interesting time and I think I'm back for weekend updates, we'll see. When you see this video, I should be crafting at the beach. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I'm getting ready for and how I'm prepping for that. And I also wanted to say thank you so much to those of you who supported me through uh, the loss of Wilson and Parker because it was just really sweet. You sent a ton of cards and messages and I just appreciated it. And I know that I didn't respond and uh, it was tricky, right? It was a hard time, but I just, I want you to know that I got your cards and your messages and I very much appreciated it. And it was just so sweet to know that uh, you guys cared and also how uh, Wilson had a lot of fans. He was pretty popular. So we are just hanging out in the craft room. It's Sadie and I and Mr. Crafting and Relaxing has gone. And I was thinking about, okay, I'm going to pack up for the beach. And what do I want to tell you guys about too? I want to know Oregon and Washington people, is anybody going to go to CKC in Hillsboro? I think it would be the weekend of, ooh, I should have checked that first, October 8th. Maybe we don't need to buy anything. Maybe it's a bad idea for our health, but maybe we should go to support our companies and our craft. I don't know. So if you're going to go, let me know and I'll think about it and check my schedule and see. But I keep seeing the emails thinking mm, that might be fun. Now I'll tell you what I'm up to for my weekend plans. If you saw my last video, I pulled out all of my Christmas and holiday. And let me show you what my room looks like. It is quite a mess. I have rearranged the stuff that I laid out in the last video a whole bunch of times and gone through it. Have some papers that are journal pages, some scraps I found. Over there on that counter, I have six by six paper pads and card stuff prepped. And then here in the middle is an assortment of in the middle of things. I found a video of mine from last year where I took paper collections of 12 by 12 and made several journals in one day. I had them on Etsy, I think within 24 or 48 hours they were all sold by the next weekend. So I thought I would make quite a few Christmas journals in the same method. If you recall, I've said over and over, if you're going to make large items like journals, make them first. So I'm not going to use any of this paper to make cards or tags or mini albums, any of the cool ideas you guys have yet. I'm gonna make the journals first because they'll be the biggest thing. I don't wanna haul all that stuff to the beach with me, which means, for my little beach pile, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take six by six paper, some chipboard, maybe some other 12 by 12 if I cut it down, that cutter, ATG and refills, some glue, and I'm going to create card fronts. I'm not even gonna take the bases except, see that cream base right there? I might take a couple, but I'm not gonna worry about gluing them together. I'm just gonna have them for, hmm, is this the right size or do I want cream or white? Honestly, I don't have enough made, but the last time I went to the beach with Mr. Crafting and Relaxing, I just made the card fronts and didn't have enough bases. That worked fine. That's a minimal supplies project, especially if you accept the fact that you're not going to have all the right ephemera or all the right bling with you, and you're just going to do what you can. Then you'll come home and finish it. Then what I think is... At home one day, I will, because I'm leaving tomorrow, and I have to work tomorrow, and I have stuff to do tonight, so I don't have time to do it tonight. But at home one day, and I think it will probably only take me three or four hours, I will lay out a whole bunch of Christmas journals. And from there, I'll probably make them eight inches high pages, so I have a four-inch strip for cards. I've talked about that before. That's a slight modification to make if you're trying to make cards, too. And then I have a few things set aside already to make shaker covers. So as I was like uncovering things and going through, I was thinking, oh, that would be nice for that. So I would say at this point, I've started, what is she doing? Well, hi, princess. Yeah, what are you doing? Are you helping? Yeah? Are you gonna say hi? Yeah. Are you going to talk more? Nope. 
She talks a lot and does a lot of funny things until she knows you're paying attention. And then, you know, she has to just be cool. So at this point, I've started a ton of things. Absolutely. And I've gone through my stamps and looked around. And then I went to my friend Noni's and I shopped in her craft room because I'm really light on Merry Christmas. I didn't. Isn't that funny? I went through all my stamps and you know because of my love of blue i have so much winter and snowmen and snowflakes but i really didn't have like a nice oh and two of those i didn't have a nice merry christmas stamp that i liked i have this one may you have peace joy and love during this holiday season beautiful i got a couple of those from noni and if i have time before i go to the beach i'll stamp some out i was trying to decide or die cut, craft, stamped in gold, stamped, I don't know, but this is all kind of vintagey. The one I haven't started right there has some white, so I could bring in some white paper. And you'll probably see those in Smash That Small Pad at the end of the month. I don't know exactly. This week I made this giant mess, but then I worked around the room and I had a fall UFO mess over there. I had not much done on this Christmas pad. I started at the beach. I don't know what was going on over there, but I really worked on finishing some things before I spread out more and more Christmas. So that gives you an idea of what I'm going to work on. Sadie is knocking my stuff down. What I'm going to work on this weekend. And if I think about it or I have time, I'll just put in a picture that shows you when my little beach pile is packed up. I take an ot light because almost nowhere that you go, a condo, a hotel room, anywhere is going to have good enough light for you. And if you're on your game, you bring a plug-in bar too. I just thought of that because otherwise you have to be, you know, that close to the wall or an extension cord. I'm going to remember to take ATG refills this time, but I'm going to be really careful. Pack it up small, quick weekend. I don't want to haul a bunch of stuff upstairs. So I think that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and next week and in upcoming videos, you'll see how I did and what I'm getting done. I'm going to work on the cards this weekend, then I'll have all those scraps and I'll put those into my pile and I'll start making journals and maybe keep the vintage and the stuff that has white in it separate because if you've watched my videos, sometimes that makes me a little crazy to mix them, but I should, I should try. And then once the journals are done, the pockets and the tucks and the bigger items for those, they don't have to be perfectly polished. I will move on to some mini books or more cards or that sort of thing. Lots of different options. And I'm pretty excited to be not behind in crafting because the craft fair that I'm prepping for is November 12th. So I'm gonna get everything ready for that. If it doesn't sell, I'll put it on Etsy or start mailing it out that week. So I'll be done with Christmas before December. If you know me, that's crazy. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing and taking great care of yourself. Bye-bye.